I really like how these things are designed. Look at this is where we get our food. Like a little house, huh? Little home. Our little food home. Hey, anything you want, put it on my tab. See? Get it? On today's episode, our taste buds are the happiest place on earth. Hi guys, on this adventure, we are in Anaheim, California at California Adventure, checking out the Festival of the Holidays. It showcases different themed bites from November to the beginning of January. Let's go eat! So we got the Sip and Saver Pass. It is $51 if you have the annual pass. It comes on a lanyard. It's got eight little tabs that when you go to the different stations, they're gonna have us pull us off, pull one off, and then we can pick whatever item we want from that station. It also comes with a menu on the back so we can pick out what we're gonna have before and some rules and stuff like that. It doesn't work on alcohol, but it seems to be a pretty good deal with the food. So we're gonna try it out. All right, and the first stop of the day was the Favorite Things booth. We got the glazed ham shanks with the honey crumble. Two nice portions here. Let's check it out, yeah? Oh, wow. That's definitely fall off the bone. The first thing that hits you is gonna be that honey, and I think I taste a little bit of garlic, but man, it is very tasty, very savory. Oh, you cannot forget about the honey crumble. That's like the best part, right? Oh yeah. Make sure you pick up a map so you can walk the route of the Festival Foods Marketplace. So this is a pork El Pastor taco. It's on some uh, non bread. It's got a little bit of a pineapple pico de gallo and Greek yogurt. Smells pretty good. Looks pretty good. It's kind of big for me. Let's see. Looks like it's going to be messy. Oh boy. <laughs> so um, this is pretty good. The pineapple is nice and sweet and that's the first thing that I taste and it has a nice contrast to the pork uh, spice. Can you find the hidden Mickey in this one? Okay we have the reimagined beef wellington. Looks like uh, you got a nice portion of meat. I don't know what this is, but uh, let's try it. It's a nice sauce. Pretty sweet. Looks like there's a blend of mushrooms and some meat. Let's dig in. This looks like it's just going to be very flaky. Let's try to get a shot. Let's try to get a bite with everything in it. All right. First thing that jumps out at you is gonna be super flaky crust there. The meat, very tender. The mushrooms, very savory. Overall, this is well worth it. So this item is from Grandma's Recipes. It is a shepherd's pie and it uses uh, plant-based beef. It's an impossible beef. So we're gonna try this out. I'm pretty excited. I'm just gonna take a little bit of this right here. Make sure I get some potato. The beef just tastes like a ground beef would. It's got a regular, like a regular texture to me. Um, the flavor of it is pretty good too. Overall, I like it. It's pretty good. Isn't this just like the biggest piece of turkey you've ever seen? Okay, this is the slider. Whoa, <laughs> this is a turkey slider from Winter Sliderland with a herb roll. Let's see if we can put that on there. It comes complete with a cranberry slaw. How am I gonna even put this in my mouth? That is the question. That is the question. All Un right. Unhinge it. Let's try it. <laughs> wow. The first thing you taste, really the herbs. 
I'm not sure if they're coming from the bun or the actual fried piece of turkey, but pretty sure they're coming from the bun. Overall, nice juicy piece of turkey and that slaw adds a nice tang to it. I'm gonna take another bite. So this is from Holiday Duets. This is a pork belly adobo on a garlic rice. It looks like it's got some chicharrones with it. It's a big bite. Mm. Mm. This is delightful. Well, the first thing that I taste is the garlic that's inside of the rice. It is like, and the pork belly is so nice and tender. It just like melts in your mouth. This is a good one. And next we have el queso fundido from Brews and Bites. Queso fundido is basically like a Mexican fondue. This one here includes a little bit of chorizo. Let's give it a go. Brews and Bites. I wish I had a brew to go along with this bite. How can you go wrong? Cheesy, delicious, herby, a little bit of spice to it. I could use a beer now, right? Looks like we've reached the end of our little food journey. We used up all of our little tabs and we are full. Um, our last item is this macaroon. We got it from Making Spirits Bright. It is a hot chocolate and s'more macaroon. So let's see how it goes. Oh, I don't know how to pick it up. <laughs> oh. Delightful. All right, so we just finished our food tour through the Festival of Holidays. We're pretty full considering we ate about eight, not about, eight snacks or little dishes, right? Becky was keeping tabs on how much each of the dishes were, and in total, it was about $62. But since we bought the Sip and Savor Pass, it was $51. Considering it was eight dishes, it's well worth it for a Sunday afternoon. All right, guys, now we want to hear from you. Let us know in the comments which dish you think was the best, or let us know if you've tried it before and how you liked it. As always, links for more information are in the description. Don't forget to like the video, share, and subscribe to our channel for more adventures. And until next time, bye bye